Good morning again. I uh, just wanted to show uh, another deck. This one's called Le Terre Noir, which I assume means the tarot black. I'm not imaginary medieval popular. I think it's in French. <laughs> the book is definitely all in French. If you get this from Amazon, which is where I got it. Try to zoom out here. And it's a nice box, except for what I typically get from Amazon, which involves somebody sitting on it. It's not during the shipping. Very rarely is something shipped badly. So I don't know where this is from or who makes it exactly, but it's a big open. The cards were just in there with the book. What's the back in French? French is fine, but I can't read it, all of it anyway. It just says editions Vega. I'm not sure who makes it. I'd have to look, I guess. But that's the box. Here's the book. The book is pretty to look at, but I can't read it. The cards are reproduced at a bigger size. These are larger than what you see down there by quite a bit. There are some odd things, I thought. Plus, maybe I'm missing something or I should know. It has a deviant moon really kind of look. I mean, I don't try to keep up with, and I definitely haven't learned as much as I should, history, tradition, all that stuff. But, so there's the first two rows of the Trumps, the major arcana. Deviant Moon, Deviant Moon, I just, maybe they are by the same person, I don't know. Here's the next row of the Trumps, make sure I get that in there just right. We'll look at the Fool card, you can see that, hopefully you can see the edges are in gold all around. That's the back is this rose. So that's face up, now it's upside down. And compared to I'm a standard US games tarot card, this is way bigger, like two inches more wide and an inch or more that away. And compared to the Marielle, the same height, but Another, another inch or so. These are big. That's why they don't fit on here seven at a time. I never anticipated things being so large. It's, it's nice they're large in terms of looking at them. Marielle, I mean, Deviant Moon, for sure. For sure again. I guess I just have to look and see what I'm missing. But it's nice so far. Here comes the coins, I'll call them, that has denarii on there. Denarii? Denarii? I don't know. But like I say, they don't fit. So this would be the seven over here. And there's those. Valet, page, cavalier, knight, I guess. And then Rainier Denary, I guess, queen. And Roy is the uh, king, I guess. Hmm. I guess there'd be a little learning curve with this one. I doubt I would use it in that way. Just use it to look at. And then again, this seven doesn't fit. But that's okay. They're just, they're simple. What do you call it? Pips. Simple looking ones. Hmm. 
the queen again, the king again. And I'll just kind of make sure I'm lined up and book ready right through these. Take the old washcloth trick off again. Doesn't fit. This one took me a little while to line up for some reason. I don't know. Like, in one time they're a sword, and other times you can't pick out the sword. I guess traditionally it was these curved scimitar like things. For some reason, there's two of these cards. They're exactly alike from what I can see. Two queens. So I guess this company has a little quality control issue. Whoever it is. It's on Amazon, but it's not Amazon. Because of how it arrived. It came in a strange box. No tracking. It's kind of a... A lame ordering experience, which seems to be happening a lot with the cards that I'm getting anyway. Some of them are normal Amazon stuff, but a lot of them are something else is going on. Again, the seven doesn't fit. King and queen don't fit on the board anyway. These are wands or batons, I guess. Batons. Some folks would say. There's the Queen of Batons and the King of Batons. So that's the look at the Le, Le Terreau Noir. <laughs> and with that, I'll say peace.